All right, guys, welcome to my first voiceover on my channel. We are going to be using the January 2018 BoxyCharm. This is the Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. It is a natural radiant glow that's supposed to blur pores and imperfections. Um, I really like using this on my oilier skin with very mattifying foundations this winter, like my Estee Lauder Double Wear. It looks really nice under these, you know, more mattifying formulas, yet it still, um, you know, lets your foundation last longer and look more glowy. So I'm just blending this out. I'm using shade Tawny today. It's my winter shade for Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, haven't worn this in a minute, but now I'm gonna be priming my eyelids with the NARS Smudge Proof Primer that I'm trying to use up. And after that, I just set a little powder on top so it's easier to blend eyeshadow. I'm gonna use my Hoola Bronzer to put a transition color in the crease because the palette we're using today does not have a transition shade, uh, well, at least a matte one. So I'm using my bronzer. Well, what my contour will be actually. We're gonna go in with this crown brush palette that came in the BoxyCharm. I'm going in with this, uh, I don't know what you would call it, kind of like a mm, greenish silver gold color, but I really love it. For some reason, colors like this look awesome on my more golden hazel eyes. So just popping that on the lid, I kept building it up. Going in with that maroon shade to deepen up the outer edge. And um, these pigment, these the pigmentation isn't insane on these colors, but it's really nice and buildable, which is something I actually prefer. Going in with the bronzer again to just blend things through the crease and make sure it looks nice and smooth. Then I put on, I think a little more, yeah, I put a little more of that color on the lid because it got a little muted and I wanted it to be pretty bold. Using this new Maybelline liner that is from the Gigi Hadid collection, it is awesome, you guys. Like, I can't stop raving about this. It's so creamy, but yet once it dries, it's set for the rest of the day and it's even hard to remove with my makeup remover. So um, I love applying this first and then I take that little angled br brush and blend it out into a little baby wing. It's so, so nice and easy and looks amazing. Like I usually use gel liner in a pot, but lately I've just been using this pencil so much more affordable than the gel liner I use. So yeah, of course using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because I love it and you know, why not use it? So blending shade, I think it's light medium honey I'm using under my eyes. Usually I use a damp beauty blender, but I forgot. So setting it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. Usually, again, I use my damp beauty blender to do this, but you know, we do what we gotta do. Just using this one today. Setting the rest of my face with my Tarte uh, Confidence in a Cream or Creamy Confidence Powder Foundation. I hit pan on this, so I'm definitely trying to use it up as soon as I can because, you know, I don't like having just stuff sitting in my collection. So, using the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil in Universal Taupe. This came in the BoxyCharm. I've definitely used this before in the past. Um, I recommend keeping the pencil on its side so it's kind of flat, so you can have more control to make straighter lines. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, I find that I have a great, I like it, it works really well on my eye color, but I know a lot of people say that uh, this wasn't as universal as they had hoped, but I think it really is. I've used this on a lot of different skin tones and hair colors. Just really have to listen to what they say about pressing too hard or not. Lining the lower waterline with that gel liner again, and then I'm gonna smudge it out with the uh, shadow that was just left on the brush from earlier. Taking that brown shade and going through the crease to deepen things up a little bit now that the liner's on. Using the Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten Palette that came with the kit, which I'm really obsessed with. I always add highlighter first. Well, most of the time I add highlighter first because I think it really kind of helps me um, blend, it, blend it through so it looks a little more natural on my skin. Now I'm contouring with the Hoola bronzer because the bronzer that comes in the Pure palette is very shimmery, so anywhere I want to contour, which is always under my neck and my nose um, and my cheeks, I will use the Hoola bronzer first and then kind of bronze up with the Pure palette, as you see here. So throwing this on, I think it just gives a really healthy glow for the winter time. So a lot of people were kind of like not thrilled that it was all shimmery, but I'm finding that it looks really nice this time of the year when everything is kind of dry. So. Just popping that everywhere, and it looks pretty intense, but we're gonna blend it out, don't worry. Using that blush, which is so pretty on the cheeks, it's like a pretty flush of apricot. And then there you go, I'm blending it out with my dual fiber brush to make sure it's really smooth looking. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I do like a pretty intense cheek color because I have rounder, rounder cheeks. Uh, pop it on my Estee Lauder Sumptuous, 
Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. It's such a great volumizing formula. I love this mascara. It's so black. I really just can't say enough good things about it. And finishing off the look with my lips using the Girlactic Liquid Matte Lipstick that came with the BoxyCharm. I love this formula. It's kind of like a satin matte. It doesn't dry down all the way. It reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. So I would recommend this formula for sure if you don't like totally dry matte lips. Brushing out those brows because I got a little crazy. And while the lipstick kind of dries down a little bit, I'm going to pop in some inner corner highlight with that Pure Palette. It is so intense. I just love the way that this inner corner highlight came out. Looks super pretty. Keeps you looking wide awake. And then I think we go in, yeah, I use my Dose of Colors uh, Bellini Gloss whenever I have a liquid lipstick that looks a little too dark for my liking. It goes over lipsticks so nicely and lightens them up perfectly with a perfect peach color that I love. And that rounds up the look, guys. There's really nothing much else to say. I'm really loving this. This box was a huge hit to me. If you're interested in trying out BoxyCharm, I will leave a link below so you can check it out and subscribe. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you here as my channel is growing, and thanks.